Look what came in the mail today. Woo. I think this might be my new 5K monitor. comes in it's pretty heavy pretty big now I have to figure out how to get this monitor replaced or rather how to get this monitor replaced with this monitor this one I don't know if you can see on the video but it's a little bit shattered the panel still works everything's still fine it's just that the glass in front is not very fine what's in here Not enough room. Ow. The styrofoam. Oh, nice. Apparently, cables, USB C cable. Um, not sure what this instructions, power cable. Not a lot of things in this package. Let's. So, that's the monitor basically. So, a while ago, I was trying to teach the bird how to pop up bubble wrap. And now he's going for it. He can't actually pop them because his beak kind of pierces them and instead of popping they just go Psss. But it's really fun to watch him do it. Now check out this aftermath of having a bird. Look at the back of that monitor. I can't tell if one of them looks bigger than the other or not. They're kind of very... They're both supposed to be similar sized monitors, but the old Apple monitor is definitely a lot heavier than the new LG. And the new LG seems to be a little bit smaller even though it has the same sized panel that has millions of more pixels. Voila! Woo! Okay, small problem with the new monitor. See, I can't attach my mouse. That looks very, very crisp. My code is going to look amazing. Now, the strange thing is, and that's not something I was expecting, the strange thing is that I don't have any more room than I did before. Everything looks exactly the same size as it did before, except everything looks very, very crisp, crisp and sharp. Like, look at my code. What I really like about this monitor so far is that my code looks like it was printed on paper. It's very, very sharp. This is going to be amazing for editing text because that is pretty much all I use this computer for. Probably if I try to run a game at 5K, it's just going to melt. A package with dongles and a new computer stand finally made it. So I'm gonna be able to properly set up this monitor and test everything out. Dongle. This is supposed to be able to connect pretty much everything to my computer. And computer stand. So I can hide the laptop behind the monitor where it's not in the way. And I'm gonna set all that up, but first we have to go do Friendsgiving and hang out with friends, cause December, I guess. I don't know. Turn on Christmas tree. That has been a very long day, but let's figure this out. Uh, this new LG monitor only does USB-C, so it has four USB-C ports on the back, and I have a USB-C adapter for my camera connection, so that's this one. But I need USB for my mouse, my mic, my keyboard, and I need an Ethernet port for my network so that I have more reliable internet than just Wi-Fi. What's really cool is it's also going to give me this uh, SD card so I no longer have to deal with those things. I can just plug US, plug an SD card into my what's going to feel like my monitor but and it's going to give me everything. Duct tape, USB hub. Oh, it's not straight. Okay. That thing's attached. Mouse. Um, now the keyboard. Oh, turn it around. I'm so happy that USB-C is reversible. Ethernet cable goes on the bottom of this thing 
Ethernet cable needs to have more give. Okay, got everything hooked up so there's not too many cables. There's this bunch of cables to connect my most of my peripherals. One cable for power and stuff. And there's this cable that hooks up to my camera. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm putting this so that I have somewhere to put my laptop. So this, this is going to be a stand for my laptop. Now what I really like about this monitor is first of all the front glass is not broken. That was my problem with the old Apple Thunderbolt monitor. It's also a lot lighter than the Apple Thunderbolt and it does this. See, I can move it up and down. That's really useful because I have no idea how I'm going to be sitting. And also this one cable connects everything. I'm going to test this thing with two computers. One, it, both are 2017 models. This one is a 13 inch MacBook Pro, doesn't have a this one doesn't have a proper GPU. Um, I'm gonna test this, see if it can drive the 5K monitor. And I'm gonna test it with this top of the line MacBook Pro 15 inch, which does have a GPU, which is supposed to be really strong and useful. So I'm gonna try a couple of stress tests with the 5K monitor. Now, let's try it with the 13 inch first. So I plug this in. Monitor woke up on its own. Great. Okay, I have some code open here, so I can close this and put it in its stand so it's not in the way. So, so far the computer is feeling a little bit sluggish, but I think that's just because it just woke up. Okay, well, I am very... Okay, so this is not the best shot, there's too much background light, but let's see. Let me see if I can show you how great this screen looks, because my code my code right now looks like it was printed in a high gloss magazine or something like that. It's really, really beautiful. And I can say that with confidence. I was already trying it out with these temporary dongles. See, this is the smallest USB to USB-C converter I've ever seen. It's very useful. Okay, so that's how great the code looks. This is what an image looks like. And eh, after, after updating the OS, it almost feels fast enough. I can move around with Mac OS with High, Sci High Sierra 1.2 or 1.1 this was very sluggish changing desktops but with 1.3 it seems to work pretty well even on the 13 inch Mac I don't know what's gonna happen if I try to run a video game 1440 is that 4k okay so the problem problem with this thing is Speakers amazing. You can actually hear what people are saying with the old sp with speakers in the Thunderbolt monitor. You get you got a very bassy sound. Uh, you couldn't really understand what was going on at one line of volume. It's too quiet to listen to. At two lines of volume, it's too loud. So not sure. You can go higher up and it just gets louder and louder. But one or two seems to be fine enough. But there's there needs to be more. You know, I would like more nuance in the sound on the lower spectrum. Seems to be doing fine on the 13 inch mar 13 inch laptop. Let's try the let's try the 14 15 inch. Let's try the 15 inch and fire up a video game because that's what's really going to test. Can I run a video game in 5K on a Mac laptop? Another cool feature of using USB-C to connect your lap to connect your laptop to your monitor is you can orient your laptop any way you want. There are four ports on this thing and any of them can connect to your monitor. That's pretty cool. Do that. The monitor is just too bright. I don't know how to set this monitor to automatically adjust brightness because it seems to be always on full blast. It doesn't seem to do very, a very good job of automatically adjusting brightness. The, ma the major issue I would say with buying a 5K monitor is just they're way too overpriced. It was, this one is a refurbished so it was, $1, it was still $1000 refurbished. And I don't, it's 27 inches, so you don't get more room than you would on a 4K display or on a just a normal Thunderbolt. Visually, when you're using it, everything feels the same. Same amount of room as before, it's just much, much crisper, much nicer. The problem is that if you get a 27 inch 4K monitor, it doesn't work with the new laptops very well, with the new Macs, because they can't run in native resolution. So either on a 4K 27 inch, you either get some very, very tiny fonts, or blurry fonts, blurry everything. So you either have to get a 5K 27 inch or a 4K 
24 inch. I guess you could go up to 32 inches and that I've heard looks amazing on 4K. I don't have enough room for a 32 inch monitor. Uh, I think this is 5K resolution, 5000. It got a little bit laggy. I can see, I can feel my mouse moving around and I started hearing the fans. Yeah, this is, this computer sounds like it's going to take off and yeah. 5K monitor, top of the line MacBook Pro GPU can't handle a simple human fall flat game. See this? It's I don't know how it's hard to really explain, but it definitely feels laggy. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that it's laggy because I can move my mouse around and you just see how the mouse moves, but it feels laggy, so it's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to go back to the same resolution I had on my Thunderbolt monitor. That's kind of pointless. And what does work is I can live code at 5K. Um, my internet can handle it, the computer can handle it, and I can just stream the full 5K stream onto YouTube and it seems to mostly work. And you can actually notice that the, everything is a bit sharper and crisper than it used to be. Overall, I would say this was a great purchase. My code looks beautiful. It's obviously very important to have 5K when you're just writing text. Images look great, taking screenshots. Anytime I take a screenshot, I'm gonna have to remember to make it smaller before I put it on the internet. Can't play video games in, f in full 5K, but I can live code in 5K, so that's cool. And no more, no, more broken, no more broken screen to get in my way. That's cool too. Just one cable to connect everything. So all in all, great purchase I would suggest either getting this or the Dell 5k and well you know the LG and the Dell 5k's are the only ones you really probably should just wait a couple more years for 5k to become a bit more standard